Hey guys, this is Jason Ferguson with a little tip that you may find useful. You might find that once in a while when you're in the field, maybe at a client's home or office, you need to make a copy of a document, but you don't have a scanner. Maybe it's an application, a receipt, a voided check, or whatever. Well, don't forget that if you have a smartphone, you can simply snap a photo of the document and it's going to get saved to your phone as a really crisp copy, way better than a fax. But if you're currently saving electronic copies of documents at all, you know that having it as a PDF is the best way to save it, and anyone you send it to can open it if it's a PDF. There are lots of different apps out there that can create a PDF, but I'm going to show you one that I think works really well for the iPhone called Genius Scan. So let's say I'm completing a paper application and I need a copy for my records. Maybe I'm sending it to my assistant to add into our agency management system. So all I do is open Genius Scan and I'm going to click down here in the lower left on the camera icon. I have an application here that I've partially filled out and I'm going to position the phone and just snap a photo. Now you notice an orange outline around the document. I can grab each corner of the orange outline and adjust the edge of the document. So we're sort of fine tuning it. And as soon as we've fine tuned all the edges, press use. Then in the lower left, we see three vertical bars. We're going to press that and say no enhancement because I want this in color. So now we can zoom in and see the app. And remember, this is just an example. I didn't fill everything out. As soon as I'm happy with that, I can press save. And we're going to say this is a new document. If I click on the title, I can rename it to whatever I want. Let's call it. CSI app and we'll use the client's last name. The only other setting I like to change is the page dimensions. I know this is a letter size document so I'll just choose that. And click done and done. So what that's done is store the document in a library on my phone. The next step is that I need to get it to my computer. I can choose to email it to myself or my assistant, or there's a few other options that you can do if you buy the paid version of Genius Scan, but we're using the free one. So I'm going to choose email, but be aware that you shouldn't be emailing documents that contain your client's social security numbers. That's a bit of a HIPAA violation. So choose a method that works for you and keeps you in the clear depending on the type of document you're creating. In this case, I'm using email, so my email app opens up, and I'll add my own email address. And you'll see the document is attached down here, and we'll click Send. Now if I check my email on my computer, here's the PDF I sent to myself, and I can open that, open that attachment, and that opens in Adobe Reader or Acrobat or whatever program you use on your computer to view PDFs. So now I have a digital copy on my computer. I can store it, I can print it, add it to my agency management system or whatever fits my needs. And so just to review, you simply snap a photo, convert it to a PDF and send it to yourself. I hope this was helpful. Again, the app is called Genius Scan for iPhone and if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Thanks for watching.